Au revoir, my fansexuals. Can you remember last week when I said the next time little Mick comes out on a food review, I'm gonna treat him to something really nice. Well guys, the human dorsal fin is joining me tonight on another food review. So let's go and pick him up and I will bring you legends back in a couple of secondas. Right. The human dorsal fin. Oh yes. Oh yeah, dig it. <laughs> Oh yes, Mick. Looking forward to a nice takeaway, mate. Oh yes. Two rides at the Dingo. Makes a change from the zero and one star. There are normally make Mick eight. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, guys. Aye. Right. Welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show, guys. As you can see, little Schmickeroony is joining me on another foodie Friday night takeaway with you. And we're back in the city of Sunderland. As you know, the old Van Dingo is broke down and I've borrowed Mrs. Blot's car once again. So we've chose Sunderland City Centre because once we've got our food, it's only a six or seven minute drive back up to my house where, where me and Mick, we can jump back in the old of the Denise Van Outen and eat the food, do a bit of munching glad bag. Oh yes, guys. Well, the place we've chose today is German Donner Kebab. That's what the place is actually called. So, I needn't tell you the kind of food that they do. Obviously, German doner kebabs. But I think they do a few of the bits and pieces. But we're not quite sure. We're not quite sure exactly what they do. So, we're going to check that out when we get in there. Maybe choose a couple of different things and we'll share it, Mick. What do you reckon? Oh, yes. Two rights. Mick likes a bit German sausage in his mouth. <laughs> you better believe he does, man, dingoes. So, yeah, this should be a nice welcome meal for Mick. A nice quality one instead of the shite that I normally make him eat. Okay then guys, me and Schmick are going to mow, going to mow, <laughs> we're going to mow, make our way around to German Donner Kebab, and we will see you legends when we've getting parked up around the corner from it. Ricicles. <laughs> I kind of get my words out. Oh, 
Okay then, folks. Me and Schmick, we've just parked up in this seedy-looking back lane behind the train station. Not that we've got much of a train station like Mick. Uh, definitely not. <laughs> but that's just the way it goes, man, thing goes. Aye, right, the German Donner Kebab Shop has literally just back up this back lane, round the corner, about a one minute walk away. Maybe he's not even that. So that's ideal for little Mick, because he's only got little legs and I don't want to make him walk too far for his decent takeaway. Yes. That sounds like a plan, Dingo, man, Dingo. And then me and Mick will go and get this grand Dingo. Oh, oh yes. You know what I'm talking about, man, Dingo's. Aye, it's a funny one this guys, I normally say as we're going to walk into the takeaway we're going to put the camera down because it's normally just like a little Chinese or Indian or pizza shop but I'm expecting this place to be quite busy and what I've heard about it is it's a bit like McDonald's when you go inside apparently they've got the touch screen machines where you go in so we don't even have to go up to the counter we can just go up the touch screen, order what we want, sit down and then they'll shout our number when it's ready. That's what I've heard anyway. So we're going to play it by ear. We'll see when we get there. If I feel I need to point the camera down. You know, because a lot of people don't like to be on camera. So, aye. We'll see. We'll make it up as we go along. That's what I'm trying to say, Mick. Oh, yes. We'll make it up as we go along, Dingo. Man Dingoes is the same they do down. All right then, guys. Me and Schmick will see you when we're making our way along to the German Donner Kebab Shop. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Here we go guys, we're just making our way along there now. Go on then mate, get stuck in there soon. Take away. Proceed. Well you're technically minded. <laughs> right, what we're gonna get. Um two seconds. Boss box, eh? See what that's all about. Um, no, I'll get on the mains. Sorry, guys, I'm not quite sure what we're ordering here. Done a wrap. Would you like to make it a meal? Yes, make it a meal. Technically minded. What do you want in it, Mick? Mixed beef, chicken. Go on then, you go for it, my man friend. First time in, guys. We'll just make it up as we're going along. You better believe it. Choose what you want on a schmick. Jalapenos, cheese, pickles, spicy sauce. The choice is yours, man, Dingo. Well, you're technically minded. Is that all you want on? Right, folks, I'm going to get this. The OG kebab. Yes, making a meal. I'll have that mixed as well, just like schmickaroni. Next, get some jalapenos on. We'll get some spicy sauce. Mixed arse is going to be like a blood orange in the morning. I do, mate. <laughs> what else? A bit garlic as well, Mick? Uh, Why not? Why I? That'll do. Right, what fries did you get? Flaming, didn't you? Flaming, aye. I'll get the cheesy ones. Next. No dip, I'm not bothered about the dip. Next. And I'll have a Diet Coke because I'm watching my figure. And the order. Right, right. I'll get this ordered, bring it back in a few seconds. Licicles. Yes, I wish, Mick.
That's it guys, we've got the food. We made a bit of an arsehole of that, didn't we? <laughs> we didn't have a clue what we were doing. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, it's little Mick! Yes, it's little yes, Mick! Little well famous little Mick! You know what makes sense. That's it guys, we've got the food. Mick's got the old bag dad there, full of doner kebab. German doner kebabs. Now we're going to drive back to mine. Like I say, that should only take about six or seven minutes. So the food should still be nice and hot when we get there. Right, I'll see you legends when we get back to the old rusty Jean-Claude Van Sexuality. You know, makes sense. Right. Right guys, back in the old Van Dingo, we have got our food from German Donner Kebab. Kebab's done right. Kebab is done right, as it says on the old Baghdad. There's our can of Pop H. Pepsi for Schmick. I'm on the diet. Oh, oh. What have we got here? Hand towel, hand wipes. Let's have a look. Chips. It doesn't look like you get many for the price we've paid for the food. Cheesy chips. Wrap. And <clears throat> the OG kebab. So we're going to half the wrap. We're going to half the kebab. <coughs> and that spicy chip I've just had has got a right kick to it. Okay then guys, I'm going to get the table set up. When I bring you back, me and Schmick are going to be doing a nice little bit of munching glad back. You know, it makes total sense. Ho oh, ho, yes man dingoes. Here we go. Time for me and Mick to get stuck into this food. It come to £24 altogether. So, that's a lot of money Mick. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of money because it's not a very big meal. So I'm hoping that the quality... Yeah, I'm hoping that the quality shines through, guys, because that's very expensive. Anyway, let's get stuck in, Mick. I'm going to try first with my cheesy chips. I've got the cheesy chips. you got the spicy ones, haven't you? Yeah. I've got a little kick to them, back there. Strong, nice spicy one. kick. Spicy kick. Oh, yes. Them cheesy chips is nice. But they're just like um they're just like chips from Burger King. Yeah. So I would say they're no better than Burger King's chips with cheese on. But they are nice, they are tasty. And me and Mick are both very hungry. We've had nothing to eat. Since beer time at work today, 11 o'clock this morning, we've been keeping ourselves very hungry for this, haven't we? There you go. Nice cheesy chips, guys. Nice spicy chips. Well, I'm going to try now the wrap which Mick chose. We've halved it. As you can see, it's not very big, guys, but it's packed with loads of meat, chicken, beef, and is it lamb as well, I think? I'm not sure. It smells absolutely lovely. What did you get on again? What sauces? Curry, spicy sauce. Like a curry sauce and a spicy sauce. Yeah. Mixed meats. Anyway, let's give it a bash. <laughs> I think that's what it was, wasn't it? Here we go, guys. Mmm. Mmm. That is nice. That is really, really nice, guys. Mmm. Oh, yes. You can tell it's absolute quality. Oh, yes. Compared 
to a normal donut wrap you would get from like you know like from your local pizza shop or kebab shop that is top quality Hmm. Now when I got out the bag and I held the wrap, I was thinking to myself, that's that's not very good for the price, you know. There's not much there. You know, a big man like me, it's not gonna fill me. Even Mick likes his food, you know. <laughs> Spicy them chips, mate. <laughs> yeah, even Mick likes his food. He can't eat as much as, much as me. But he always goes back with later on and finishes it off. But the quality of it, I think the quality makes up for the size of the portion. Oh yeah. Definitely does. It's nice and moist. Oh amazing. So it's going down easy. Oh. Mm-hmm. Very, very nice indeed. Oh. <laughs> Let's finish that off with some cheesy chips on top of it. Oh yes, guys. Plenty of juice in here as well. Juicy. It is very juicy, very moist, but it's not grease. No. There's no grease at all. There's no grease on the paper. So you are paying a premium. You know, you're paying a lot of money, but for a really top quality wrap. Hmm. It's not somewhere. It's not somewhere you could go all the time because you couldn't afford it. You couldn't afford to be paying these prices. Definitely if you've got a family. I mean, like I say, that was £24 just for me and Mick. So you can imagine if you've got two or three kids. Yeah, it's nice for a treat. Well, I'm going to finish these cheesy chips off, Mick. Mmm. And then we're going to get stuck in to the OG kebab. OG, you know what I'm talking about, Nick. I'll give you a quick look, guys, before we get stuck in. So I chose the same meats. We should have chose a different, yeah. different one, really, but we were kind of under pressure at that touchscreen machine. We both didn't know what to do. Standing with a camera in my hand and you can feel people looking at you. We'll go a little bit panicky. But I, you can see guys, it almost looks like a waffle type of bread. I got the same meats as Mick, the mixed meats. And then I got the, the spicy sauce with the jalapenos and garlic as well. That's what I got Mick. Uh, I got oh. the garlic. So here we go. We'll try the OJ kebab. Mm. Mm. Obviously a similar taste because we've got the same mates. Yeah. You can taste the different flavours. Yeah. And the kick of the jalapenos and the lovely garlic flavour coming through. Very nice indeed. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Well, the OG kebab, guys. Mmm. 
very, very nice indeed. Ooh, got a jalapeno there. Oh, this is what I'm talking about, Mick. This makes a change from little Mick eating the zero star huh. or the one star takeaways. Nice little treat. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Don't get used to it, Mick. <laughs> Don't get used to it. Because the next time he's out, I'm going to find us another zero. What? Or maybe he's even a one. You know, a one or a zero. That's not your full now. Hmm. Well, you've eaten the same as me so far. You can wrap that up and take that home if you want, Mick. I just do that. Do your, that'll do for your supper when you give in. <laughs> this fat lad is going to polish this off. Well, guys, German Donner Kebab in Sunderland City Centre. I think they've got other shops in different parts of the UK. Absolute top quality. So for the score, I like to weigh everything up. The price, the size of the portion, the quality. It is very expensive. Yeah. Up here, I mean, in the northeast of England. Definitely, you know, like in the Sunderland area. You can go and you can get a good big, yeah. massive yeah. donna wrap yeah. for like six pounds, can you? Yeah. So, yeah, 24 pound for that. It's a lot of money. And if a family wants to get it, it's going to cost an absolute fortune. It's going to cost like 40 quid just for kebabs and chips for a family. But the quality makes up for it. Yeah. The quality is top notch guys top notch the portions quite on the small side yeah. I know mixed full but obviously mixed not a big eater like I say that wrap the wrap Mick had if I had that for myself I'd probably look at it and think that's not very big but that's what happens if you get a quality meal it's normally smaller because the quality is top notch so I'm not going to give it a 10 out of 10 Mick because of the price and the size of the portion where well, it is absolutely beautiful so I'm going to give it still a big fat juicy 9 out of 10 dingo man dingoes what's your score Mick? I'll give it a very decent 8.8 .8 out of 10 there you go guys 9 8.8 .8, a big fat average score of 8.9 ok then guys I'm going to finish the rest of this off Turn the camera off when I bring you legends back. Me and the human dorsal fin, you know it's coming. We're going to be doing a world famous Waski review. You don't make sense. Right. Okay, folks, nearly time for the world famous Waski review. But before we do that, we're going to do a little bit of a giveaway. We've got some prizes here for you guys to enter into, you know, a little bit of a draw. Three prizes. We've got this coffee mug, Blot Outdoor Show, there's some stickers in there, little schmick, my ugly face. Ah, oh. what else have we got? Bottle opener, little schmick bottle opener. Got another one, like my whiskey cup, but we're writing on. You know it makes sense. Some more stickers in there, guys. A couple of stickers. A little Mick one and Blot Outdoors. Another bottle opener. Blot Outdoors, bottle opener. That's the second one. Another one. Rough and smooth at the same time. Just like my Waski mug. But with the rough and smooth at the same time thing on. Another bottle opener with my ugly face on. Some more stickers, serious stealth camping, rough and smooth at the same time. Three prizes for you absolute legends. All you've got to do to enter into the draw is 
give this video a thumbs up. Um, make sure, <laughs> my mind's gone blank, make sure you are subscribed to the Blot Outdoor Show and leave a comment. Somewhere in your comment, leave the word Mandingo. So wherever it is you comment about, guys, you know, comment about anything you want, but leave the word Mandingo in your comment and you will be entered into the draw for them three prizes. They're nothing special, you know, just a few little bits and pieces. I'll do the draw on the next Friday night video. I'm going away for a few days with Mrs. Blot and my son to the Lake District. So, yeah, while we're there, old school style draw, all the names into a hat. We'll draw three names out the old fashioned way. And we'll have three prizes, yeah, three winners. And then I'll get them sent off to you. Anyway, guys, Waski time. You know it makes sense. And this is what we've got John Lee, straight bourbon. Product of the good old US of A. Now, let's get the old famous cup dingo, man dingoes. And I want to say a big thanks to a guy called Robert Giles for sending me this waski. Cheers, Robert, my man friend. Very much appreciated. Oh, yes, Mick. Let's get that popped in there. Right. Do you want the first smell, mate? Go on, you want the first sniff of Rooney? Because people always say, let me go first, you know. Tell me what you can get, mate. Get a little bit of vanilla straight away. Vanilla? A little bit. Yeah, a little, little bit of vanilla because the smell there. Oh, no, that's, it's quite, it's quite bland for a bourbon. You know, when you get like a, a Jim Beam and Woodford Reserve. I love that Woodford Reserve. And stuff like that it's got a strong smell that's quite bland and yes mick i can smell a little bit vanilla but it's very faint it's not very strong at all and there's a, maybe a, a mild oakiness to it as well but like i say nothing nothing's hitting you it's rather bland to be honest get another sniff of that mick now we get a little bit of oakiness as well Aye. A little bit. It's not a really strong smell, is it? You know, compared to most bourbons. Anyway, guys, that's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the tasting. Lice. Yeah. Typical bourbon taste. Very sweet. But I'm going to be honest, yeah, it's not blowing me socks off, if you know what I'm talking about, guys. There's just something about it that's, it's not as good as a Jim Beam. It's not as good as a Jack Daniels. It's certainly not as good as a, a Woodford Reserve, like I've already mentioned there. Get a little bit of sarsaparilla, have A little bit of sarsaparilla. Give me a go, Schmick. A little bit. It has I. When I had my first taste, I was thinking there's a taste in there. And it was on the tip of my tongue, dingo man dingoes. I couldn't quite think where it is, but Mix hit the nail on the head. Like a sarsaparilla. You know, like a sarsaparilla sweet. Yeah. Or like a cheap bottle of sarsaparilla pop. pop. Or soda, you just see in America and Canada. Mm -hmm. Sarsaparilla. Maybe it's a tiny little bit licorice in there as well. But for me, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like I don't like putting the whiskies down. Definitely when someone's been kind enough to buy it for us. But we've got to be honest, Mick, we've got to tell the truth. It's like a, to me, it's like a bog standard version of a Jim Beam. Or a Jack Daniels. Yeah. So, yes, I'm sorry, Robert Mate, who's bought me this, but we do appreciate you buying us. But we've got to give it honest with you. Finish with that, Mick? Yeah. Down the hatch. <laughs> Real matron. Mick's dropping his guts again. Spicy kebabs going right through. Yeah. There you go, guys. John Lee. Not the best I've ever had. I mean, 
I would still drink it if I was wild coming out in the mountains and it was cold and me and Mick wanted something to warm the old chest up. Oh, yeah. We would certainly drink it, no doubt about it. But, yeah, it's not one of the better bourbons I've ever had. So I'm going to give it a score, Mick. I'm going to give it a pretty disappointing 5.5 out of 10 dingo man dingoes. It wasn't disgusting or anything, it just wasn't as good as other bourbons I've had. Schmick, what's your score, my man friend? I will give it 4.9. Very harsh from Mick. 4.9 and 5.5. But, yeah, thank you, Robert, for sending us that. That just shows, guys, we do give an honest review. We're not just going to say something's brilliant just because people are being kind enough to buy it for us. There you go. That's the end of this week's Waski review. You know what I'm talking about. This the serious Waski tasting. Oh, that's the kebabs rifting up now. Have you noticed, guys? I've got a lovely Blot Outdoors hoodie on there. If you're interested in buying something like this, and there's loads more different designs on hoodies, T-shirts, long sleeve T-shirts, sweaters, all sorts of designs, from small to XXL, man's, woman's, kids, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, check out the Blot Outdoor Show merch. I'll leave a link in the description of this video, guys. Christmas coming up. Get them bought for you family and friends and for yourself anything to say mick before we say bonjour to everyone <laughs> lights <laughs> why you're some lyrical genius <laughs> there you go guys that's the end of this week's food review and waski review please join me on sunday night for another epic stealth camp see you later guys see you on youtube sunday night you better believe i will mice that was fucking shit <laughs> oh, air mason. Oh. Oh, matron. <laughs> oh. Turkey, big shot, man, man, man dingo. Dingo. Yeah. yeah! You know it makes sense. <laughs> Ooh, matron. If it's anti wrong. The glove of self love. Ah. Ah. Ah.